all the functions are available via two comprehensive menus that you can access with the front panel controls. The control menu is accessible by pressing and holding the monitor headphone select button for two seconds. Via this you can change the sync source that the Pure 2 is locked to. This can either be oven, internal clock, word clock in, so the Pure 2 gets slaved to another master clock, one of all the physical digital inputs that is currently selected in the digital input menu, or USB audio, so the Pure 2 gets locked to the USB digital stream from your computer. You can change what is being transferred by the main DA, monitor out, and headphone outputs. All three have the following options. Current selected digital input, the sine wave oscillator, analog in, and USB channels 1, 2, and 3, 4. The same options are available for the USB recording and digital output, so you can select what you would like to send out for recording to a computer or other recording equipment. The digital input menu enables which single digital input on the Pure 2 is currently selected. The SPDIF sample rate convert option will change the incoming SPDIF signal to match the sample rate of the Pure 2's internal clock when it's set to oven. The monitor and HB mono options allow you to switch between stereo and mono. The special menu is accessed by pressing and holding the power button for two seconds. Here you can view the Pure 2's device information, serial number, firmware and hardware version. You can adjust the brightness on the LCD screen on its front panel. You can adjust the trim levels for the main analog outs. Perform a factory reset. Adjust the screen saver settings. and calibrate the Pure 2 with the 10M atomic clock.